Let me read this review for you that I found on Amazon. It states, Packs were already opened, took out the rares, and switched them out for commons. One star. Let me read you a second Amazon review. All my packs came opened. One star. You would think after reading those that I would not buy a Sword and Shield booster box off of Amazon. Well, think again. What is up, my Breaking Family? Sending some positive vibes in your direction. And this is one of the things that I have heard so many times in the comment section of a lot of my videos is I bought a Pokemon booster box from Amazon and it came open. Or all the packs were opened. Or I didn't pull any ultra rares. Or all my rares were replaced with commons and uncommons. I thought that this was possibly just like a rumor that was kind of floating around. Like people have heard of it happening to other people, but it's never really happened to them. After seeing so many comments about people buying Pokemon booster boxes off of Amazon and essentially getting ripped off, I had to find out for myself. So I went to Amazon, typed in Pokemon Sword and Shield booster box. I found one for around $100 and it said was sold and shipped by Amazon. Now I looked at the customer reviews and right now currently the rating is 4.3 out of 5. So I went ahead and scrolled down to the customer reviews and I clicked on one star ratings to read a little bit further on uh, what people's experiences were. So at the very top of this list I find a review that says it's from Amazon customer verified purchase obviously one star titled scammed. It says scammed six of these same ultra rares from the same box statistically impossible with how card lots are built unless there was tampering pack weighing etc involved the outer wrap on the factory seal was also shriveled and it looked like it was probably resealed considering disputing but i'm aware how hard it is to prove this sadly and then right there there is a picture of six snorlax v ultra rare card i mean pulling six of the same card is not bad if it's say i don't know a gold card or a hyper rare but when it's just six regular ultra rares and they're all the exact same card not that exciting. Now trust me, I already considered the fact that maybe this was just a factory error, that possibly this person right here could have just got an error box and had all their ultra rares be the exact same. But then again, someone could have tampered with the box. Dude, four Wobbuffet Vs in the first half of the box. Almost a similar situation to the Snorlax Vs. So now my mind is really thinking, I gotta get one of these booster boxes because I have to figure out what exactly is going on? Am I going to end up buying this Pokemon booster box from Amazon and having to leave my own one star review? Now, I don't want to just focus on the negative side of it. I also wanted to take a look at the five star reviews. Joshua gave it five stars. It is a verified purchase and it says shipped and sold by Amazon. Came in original sealed packaging, not tampered with, got eight V cards and one V Max. Lots of hollows, definitely a boost to my collection. Hopefully some better pulls next time around. And then Kristen with a five star rating, titling it Amazing Pulls said, great arrived in one day and got great pulls. So we have people giving it five stars. We have people giving it one star. We also have people giving it like three or four stars, but they're mostly just upset that they didn't get good enough pulls. Either way, sometimes you just can't leave it up to reviews. You have to find out for yourself. So I went ahead and bought my own booster box. So here we go, my booster box all the way from Amazon. Now, before we take off the shrink wrap around this Sword and Shield Pokemon booster box, I just wanted to take a quick look at it to make sure that everything looks fine. And honestly, right off the bat, for me, it looks perfectly okay. Uh, I will say there is a little bit of plastic kind of hanging off on both sides of the booster box. But honestly, I've seen that on Pokemon booster boxes before and that raises no concerns for me. Now I'm staying positive and I'm actually feeling really positive about opening up this Pokemon booster box. I don't think anything is gonna go wrong, but if it does, I won't be afraid to leave one star. So here's the question of today's video. Will I have to leave a one star review on this Pokemon Sword and Shield booster box that I bought from Amazon? Now, what I want to know from all of you down in the comments is your experience with buying something Pokemon or Pokemon card related from Amazon. Did you have a good experience? Did you have a bad experience? And did you leave it a one star review or a five star review? Like I said, if something goes wrong, I'm not afraid to leave it a one star review. But before we open up this Pokemon booster box, I just want to remind you all that earlier this week, both myself and YouTuber Jordan Fringe have teamed up to start a charity fundraiser for United Way Worldwide's COVID-19 Response and Recovery Fund. We are trying to raise as much money as possible for this charity fundraiser because it does go to a very, very good cause of something that is affecting all of us around the entire world. We didn't want to sit back. We wanted to do something to help as much as possible. So that's why we 
are hoping this entire community can come together to raise a lot of money for United Way Worldwide's COVID-19 Response and Recovery Fund. There is a link down in my video description down below that will take you to this charity fundraiser and 100% of the money does go to United Way. So if you're able to help out with this charity fundraiser by either donating or even just by sharing this video, it helps so much and thank you, thank you, thank you very much. So I will say we are working on some really awesome giveaways for this charity fundraiser. So please either consider making a donation or sharing this video. And remember down in the video description, there will be a link taking you to the charity fundraiser if you would like to donate, as well as a link to United Way's nonprofit organization website if you would like to learn more about them. All right, now let's go ahead and open up this Amazon purchase right here and see if I have to end up leaving it a one star review. I'm hoping that I don't have to, but like I said, if I got to, I got to. So let's open this up. Getting off the shrink wrap right here. All right, put that right over there. Okay. Let's see if the booster packs are already opened. Uh, I am not seeing that. So that's a good sign right off the very start. I'm going to go ahead and get all 36 out. Let's take a look at them. It looks perfectly fine, to be honest with you. Okay, and we'll get out the other stack right here. That stack looks perfectly fine as well. So let's go ahead and start opening up all of these Pokemon packs from Sword and Shield and uh, see what happens. I mean, what if we end up with uh, six of the Snorlax V Pokemon cards? So it's possible. Let's see what we got here. Uh, now, of course, we are trying to get the entire set of Sword and Shield. I do have my Sword and Shield binder right back there. I think right now we are missing 22 cards. We're trying to pull legit every single card from the set. I can't trade for them. I can't buy them as singles. I have to pull every single card, and that's a way more difficult task than you think. Hey, there we go. Starting off with an Ultra Rare, a Delmise V Ultra Rare, right off on the very first booster pack. I got to grab some sleeves. I thought I was prepared, and apparently I wasn't. Whoop. There we go. Right up there in the VIP section. Okay, let's go into the next one. Like I said, yeah, I have to pull every single card. I can't trade for them. I can't buy them as singles. I have to pull every single card and it's very, very difficult. Um, so even like the reverse holo, so like this, I have to have Mencino, the reverse holo, and then I have to have the non-reverse holo as well. So uh, it's, it's way more cards than uh, the actual like set list number. Energy, I'll put that right back there. Dotler. Galarian Stunfisk, woo-loo, and a Drapion for the rare in that one. There's the code card for that booster pack and the code card for the last booster pack. Uh, if you're new here to the channel, I never keep any of the code cards. I always show them. I'd rather you have them enjoy a Pokemon booster pack for the Pokemon TCGO. So if you enjoy code cards, you know you can always come here to this Pokemon video or any of these Pokemon videos and grab yourself a code card, and which, by the way... If you are new here, thank you so much for checking out the channel for the very first time here. Hitmonchan, Dovewool, and a Poltegeist. And the code card for that one. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for all your support. I appreciate that so very, very much. I enjoy just coming to sit down, talk Pokemon with all of you, and just be ourselves, right? We're just being ourselves and not apologizing for being ourselves either. Never be ashamed to be who you are. Citrus Berry, Quillfish, Joltik, and a Hollow Rare Galarian Obstagoon. So right now, as of right now, I probably wouldn't give this one star. Would I give it five stars? We're probably at about two stars right now. And that's only because we haven't opened up the entire booster box, okay? So as we continue opening up the Pokemon booster box, the rating will get higher. But right now, we're only at about two stars, okay? Golden, Roselia, Ghastly, Canto Vibes, Energy, Raboot, Sudowoodo, Hop, Beltoy, and a Lapras for the rare in that one. So one ultra rare, one hollow rare. What if that's all we pull? What if that is the only pulls out of this entire booster box, the only hollow rare, and the only ultra rare? Then it would definitely go to a one star review. Silly Cobra, Blipbug, Golding, Yamper, we have Energy, I'll put that right back there, Vitality Band, Haunter, The Wacky, Rillaboom, and an Orbeetle. Rillaboom coming in strong. 
going into the next booster pack, we're just going to go straight to the rare in this one. We have a Reverse Hollow Switch and a Corviknight in the rare spot for that one. Energy, I'll put that right back there. Code card, and I don't know about all of you, but let me know uh, what your thoughts are on this and if you've experienced this, but I feel like every time I open up Sword and Shield, the code card is always bent for some reason. Not that it bothers me because I just show you the code card and then I throw them away, but... It seems very weird that it's it's such a high amount of booster packs. I mean, look, already bent. This one's already bent too. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I see an ultra rare Lapras V full art. Definitely, we are going up to um, three stars right now. We are at three stars on this Amazon purchase Lapras V full art. There's the code card for that one. And I will say that right now. I am working on doing some videos on the lowest rated Pokemon card items on Amazon. So if you're going to be, uh, if you're interested in that and you want to see those videos, they should be coming up here on the channel very soon. Um, but I just want to give you all a heads up. So hit that notification bell so you don't miss it. Also this weekend, we are going through my Pokemon storage room filled with new Pokemon items and vintage Pokemon items, so you won't want to miss that either. I've been hyping that up for weeks now, and I'm very excited to show you that video. Slazzle, Bisharp, Raichu. There we go. I almost threw it. Ultra Rare, Secret Rare, Gold, Quick Ball. That's right. We just got the Gold, Secret Rare, Quick Ball. We're at, we're at five stars, all right? We, we gotta give it five stars. At this point, the pulls are really good, okay? The pulls are really good from this Amazon booster box. Secret Rare Quick Ball, I mean, easily one of the most sought after cards in the set. If you're looking at value, one of the most valuable Pokemon cards from the set as well. Uh, obviously, I am putting the values down in the corner as of the recording of this video. So, uh, I mean, look at that right there. That's, that's, that's good. We got a full art. We got a secret rare. We got a Delmize. The pulls are not bad at all. So, uh, but you know, who knows? Maybe that's all we get out of this booster box, which would be weird because usually on average, you get about six uh, ultra rare or better pulls. Hitmonlee, Mincino, and a thief. A thief in our booster pack. Code card. Five stars. At this point, five stars, okay? Got oh, wow. That one's really really messed up. We have a Durant and a Scorch and an energy. I'll put that right back there. Code card for all of you lovely, lovely people. All right, I want to make sure I got that reverse hollow, didn't I? Yeah, okay, I got it. Let me fix these stacks right over here. Okay, whoo, I feel a lot better now. I feel like I didn't, I didn't get ripped off at all. We have a Salizopede and a Drampa that looks like Falcor from Never Ending Story. If you haven't seen that movie, there you go. That's a movie for you to watch right there. I think there's like three of them. Although, I, if I remember correctly, I don't think the third one is that good. But the first two are really good, actually. So, there you go. There's a movie for you to watch right now. Score Bunny, Silly Cobra, Yamper, such a good pupper. Grookey, we have Energy. We have a Reboot, Sable, and a Hollow Rare, Boltund. Of course, Rebel Clash is getting released pretty soon. Uh, if you haven't heard, it, uh, the Build and Battle decks are going to get released on April 18th. Uh, the set officially comes out on May 1st. Uh, so participating retailers will be selling the Build and Battle decks on April 18th since uh, pre-release tournaments uh, can't be held right now. So April 18th, you'll be able to get yourself some Rebel Clash. Uh, through Build and Battle decks. We will be opening up plenty of Rebel Clash here on this channel, so make sure you stay tuned for that. And we are going to go on the mission of trying to get the entire Rebel Clash set. So just like we have been with all the past sets, it's a very difficult task and uh, a very expensive task, but one nonetheless that I am willing to do. Cottony Energy. Lucky Egg, Mantine, Crushing Hammer, Palpad, and a Cramorant. Code card again. We are almost halfway through uh, the left side of the booster box. We have three pulls, Raboot, and a Turtonator. And the code card. Turtonator, you go over there. How many Hollow Rare pulls have we had so far? I think just one, right? Oh, no, three. Three? No, two. 
Galarian Obstagoon, and a Boltund, which there is Boltund V in uh, in Rebel Clash. So if you are a fan of Boltund, there you go. Hoot Hoot, you are a bird. Fly away, fly away. We have Valtoy Energy and Hitmonlee, Rare Candy, Claydol, and Galarian Berserker. Hey, there's our third hollow rare right there. Okay, last booster pack for the left side of the booster box. Let's see what we got. We have ourselves a Roselia and a Noctail flying in strong code card. Okay, left side of the booster. What is that doing there? Left side of the booster box is all taken care of. We are going to the right side of the booster box. I don't think these packs were weighed. I don't think they were tampered with. I think we got a perfectly normal Pokemon booster box on our hands. And uh, I I feel bad for uh, for anybody that had a bad experience. So uh, I know I know I, I I don't need to apologize because I didn't sell the booster boxes, but. Um, but I feel like I should apologize because I don't like when anybody has a bad experience uh, in the Pokemon world. So uh, I do apologize um, that you had a bad experience and hopefully your next experience will be a lot better. We want everybody to be able to have a good experience when it comes to Pokemon. Pokemon's supposed to uh, take the stresses away, not give us stress, right? Volpix, we have Valtoy, Chinchow, Krabby, Energy, Switch, Reboot, Great Ball, and a Lantern. I just wanted to, I, I've seen so many comments about people uh, claiming they have been ripped off through uh, an Amazon purchase of a booster box or a three pack or an elite trainer box, uh, especially when Hidden Fates was out. I saw that so much. And I just kind of wanted to uh, see it firsthand for myself. Now, who knows? Maybe if I bought a second booster box, maybe, maybe something bad would happen. I don't know. But right now, as of this first purchase right here, nothing bad has happened. Mawile and a Lapras V. So no doubles, which is really, really good. Hey, can't complain, right? Lapras V, sleeve it up. Whoop, there we go. Four pulls. We should have at least two more out of the rest of these uh, Pokemon packs. At least two more. There is a chance that we could have like up to nine. I feel like I... I I feel like I've pulled up to nine from a Sword and Shield booster box before. Hoot Hoot, Fly Away, Energy, Lucky Egg, Mantine, Crushing Hammer, Grookey, and a Durampa, Falcor, Never Ending Story. Set that right over there. There's the code card, which once again is bent. Oh well, it's just a code card. I'm not going to complain. We have a Rhyhorn, Roselia, Krabby, which, look at that Krabby. It does 120 damage. Are you kidding me? Energy, Great Ball, Potion, Rhydon, Choodle, Sableye V. We are getting some really, really good pulls. Four pulls. No, five pulls. My, my apologies. Math is hard, apparently. At least for me, it is. I should have paid more attention in school. Oh, well, I guess. I don't know what I'm going to do about it now. <laughs> Math is hard, okay? Uh, but yeah, five pulls right there. One secret rare quick ball. Like I said, easily one of the most sought after cards from the set. Rookity, you're a bird. Fly away. Energy, you go over there as well. Hitmonlee, that was very close. I felt the wind on that one. Galarian Ponyta and a Mudsdale. And then of course at the very end of this video, I will pull out my Pokemon card binder for Sword and Shield and we will add in any cards that we needed. Uh, to help complete the set at 100%. Salizopede, Wooloo, uh, Grookey, Sable, Energy, Mantine, Dottler, we got Suncino, and Rillaboom, and a code card. You know, today, at least in my area, it's in the 70s for like the first time this year, and uh, my body is not used to it right now because I am, I'm sweating up a storm right now. Uh, I also have some studio lights right here, and that's probably uh, adding to the situation, but whew, I am, uh, I'm working up a sweat just opening up Pokemon cards right now. Opening up a sweat, or uh, I can't speak either today. Math and speaking are hard for me. I can't, I can open up Pokemon cards without breaking a sweat right now, is what I was trying to say. Uh, but it came out definitely not like that. Wobbuffet V, how you doing? 
How you doing, Waba Fat V? I, I don't know. I don't know why I can't speak or do math today. I don't know why. It's because it's extremely hot in here. The heat is getting to my brain. Galarian Meowth, Glossifer, and a Hollow Rare Marnie. We have pulled the Hyper Rare Marnie. We have not pulled the Full Art Marnie, though. So, uh, very interesting. Hopefully, we can pull that one. I wouldn't mind pulling that in today's video, to be honest with you. Mudbray going into a Cramorant. Of course, there is Cramorant V inside of this set. Another code card for you beautiful, beautiful people. Hopefully, you are having a great day. If you're not, hopefully tomorrow's day will be better, or hopefully from this point on out, your day will get better. Hoot Hoot. Fly over there, Hoot Hoot. Pikachu. Sinisty. Wooloo, cards going everywhere, Energy, The Wacky, Pokemon Catcher, Drizzile, Krabby, and a Cinderus. And a code card. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven booster packs left. All right, let's make this happen. Come on. We need at least one more Ultra Rare pull to, uh, to be at the six, right? Or no, we're at six already. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, okay. So we've already pulled the average amount from a booster box. So anything above six is uh, going to be icing on the cake, uh, so to speak. Sobble, Maractus, Energy, Pokemon Center Lady, Seeking, Hitmonchan, Volpix, Zacian V, easily one of the most playable cards from Sword and Shield. Uh, and I believe it's still like a $20 card as well. Zacian V, how you doing? Welcome to the party. Right up there in the VIP section. Seven pulls. I'm not complaining at all. This Amazon purchase is getting five stars. Yes, it is. Five stars from me. And uh, still booster packs left. We might we might get eight pulls. We have a Energy, Hyper Potion, Citrus Berry, Hitmonchan, and a Sensino code card once again. Five? Yeah, five. Five booster packs left. Thought it was four, but it's five. We have a Seeking. Okay, not an Ultra Rare. It's okay. We still love you. Put that over there. I forgot you're rare. You go over there. There'll be a huge mess to clean up. And I'm going to have to do it. Oh, well. Oh, well. Sometimes you just got to gotta adult, right? We have Ghastly, Rookity, Salizopede, Snome, Energy, Crushing Hammer, Kingler, Baltoy, and a Hollow Rare Cinderus, which we actually might need that, weirdly enough. Code card. Oh my, oh my goodness. So much, so much sweat. Ugh. Okay. We have Sensino and a Grap Locked. I also don't have any windows open in here, so that's on me. That's all on me, Breaking Family. I'm just being honest, okay? I could have acted like I wasn't sweating at all. Um, but I, you know, I'm, I'm always honest here on this channel, okay? I'm just being myself. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We have a Blipbug, Baltoy, Wooloo, Joltik, Salandit, Energy, Thwacky, Pokegear 3.0, because O is not a number, Aurora Energy, Toxicrope, Stone Jorner VMAX, our second Full art Pokemon card from this booster box opening. We are at eight pulls right now with this booster box. Check this out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whoo! Math is not as hard as I thought it was. Code card. One booster pack left. Breaking family. Will we get nine pulls? Will this be a booster box with nine ultra rares inside? Only one way to find out. And then we will get our Pokemon card binder out. And then add in any cards that we needed. Score Bunny, Silly Cobra, Energy, Loomberry, Aurora Energy, Dove Wool. I don't know why I threw that. Rookity, and a Hollow Rare Gengar. There's the code card for that one. Let's get the binder. Now, are you ready for this? I opened up all of those booster packs, and we are getting to add a grand total of one card to the Pokemon card binder. All those booster packs, and I had all of the cards except for just this one right here. The Reverse Hollow Sobble. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the binder, but luckily, I can safely say I'm going to give this Amazon purchase five stars. But keep in mind, I would have gave it one star if I had to. As always, Breaking Family, thanks for watching the channel and taking the time out of your busy schedule to come 
and hang out with this weird person right here. If today was a rough day for you, remember that tomorrow's a new day, a new day for you to wake up and give it your best. Don't forget, life is awesome and so are you. I love every single one of you amazing people all around this world. And I'll see all of you, all of you in the next video. Do it with me now. Peace, love, and a high five.